most of you know, I have a little sister who is six. So I am prone to finding myself watching children's programmes, in particular Peppa Pig. And the one thing that annoys me about these children's programmes is how unrealistic they are. Now the premise behind most of these TV programmes is to teach the child something, a moral, something about the world that they need to know. But how can they do that when the way in which they are trying to do that is so unrealistic? So for this video I thought it would be a good idea to download an episode of Peppa Pig and analyse it, point out all the ways in which it is unrealistic and how that does not help the child. Okay, so I've downloaded an episode of Peppa Pig. I chose Peppa Pig because it seems to be one of the most popular children's programs at the moment. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. First thing to note, the house is on a steep hill in the middle of nowhere. And there's no other houses in sight. The library. It is bedtime. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Secondly, in my opinion, boys and girls do not share bedrooms. It just doesn't happen. Can I have a story, please? OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The red monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth, and goes to sleep. Uh, yes, that is what happens. Can we do the night? Kinda dangerous that the kid is climbing down the ladder facing forward instead of turning around and going backwards down the ladder. Don't you think? Have a story. The blue tiger, the green spider, the orange penguin. Oh, what's this one? The wonderful world of concrete. In all seriousness, how likely is it that the wonderful world of concrete book would end up on the kids' bookshelf? I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from, and when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Why didn't Daddy Pig get a notice or a letter or something from the library reminding him that the library book was due back? Never mind, you can take it back tomorrow. But now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Concrete. What child would want to hear a book about concrete? Surely they'd want to hear a princess book with dinosaurs and dragons and mystical creatures, not a book about concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Several points here. One, why is the library on top of a hill? Two, why is it the only building there? Three, they just abandoned their car. There's no parking spaces or anything. The pigs just abandon their car outside this building and it makes no sense. Peppa and her family have come to the library. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a lot of books. Shh, Peppa, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please. 
In this clip, the child might get slightly confused because Daddy Pig tells Peppa off for shouting and then Miss Rabbit shouts, next please. What's the child meant to think? Can you or can't you shout in the library? Also, what is with Miss Rabbit being the library assistant? How many jobs does she want? In other episodes, she has been an airport assistant. She has been an ice cream lady. How many jobs does she want? Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty, Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. All I can say here is, what's with the alarm bell and sad face on the computer screen? I mean, come on, that doesn't happen. Also, Daddy Pig says, sorry, Miss Rabbit, and that's it. No big fine for having the book for ten years. Nothing. He just says sorry and that's it. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes, the children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, berries, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. If I'm honest, I'm surprised the library is even letting Daddy Pig take another book out after how long he had the first one. Also, you would think that he would get out a book that's a bit more interesting, considering he had the first one ten years and lost it before returning it. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. Ugh, he had a bath cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, he jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Ooh. He had a picnic with the dinosaur, and swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Peppa. But I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. Yes, Peppa. I'm sure you will. Ho, <laughs> ho! <laughs> Just what is with them lying on their backs laughing? It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> now you may be thinking from that that I hate children's programmes and I think they're pointless, but you'd be wrong. I don't think they're pointless, but I think that they could be more realistic. How can a child properly learn from a programme that's not realistic? Children's programmes need to be able to portray a single message which the child can understand. Something which they can take away and learn from. I feel as though the developers of Peppa Pig and some other programmes need to be careful about what they put into their programmes to make sure that they're not giving mixed messages or promoting something that shouldn't be promoted in their programmes. I know they are for entertainment, but they are also for learning and they're also trying to help the child learn valuable lessons which they can put to practice in their everyday lives. 
I hope you enjoyed that. If you feel as though I've missed anything or want to add anything to this discussion, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. I feel as though I came off quite ranty and irritated in this video. And for that, I'm sorry. But I feel as though this subject should have been addressed a while ago. And I feel really strongly about it. So... I hope you agree with me. If you disagree with anything I've said, let me know down below. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye guys.